So today we're back in the S15 again. We've got some stuff back from powder coating. We've got these door cards here. So today we get to put that on, them on and then we can finally get to work with hopefully finishing off most of the cabin. Uh, put in our harness points during the week off camera. Starting to look a little bit more together in the cabin now with the seat and harness in. Really happy with how this has all come out. So today um, we'll probably get the dash in and then start getting our center console on. We can start working with mounting some more accessories like bias adjustment. Uh, we've got a line locker as well from uh, the boys at Home Developments to act as a handbrake. And that'll help, that'll also dictate our rear brake lines, which is why we haven't done them yet. And then we're also starting to enter what is probably going to be one of the biggest projects on this car is plumbing the dry sump. We're waiting on some crimp on fittings to come in to stock. And basically the lines from the sump to the oil pump itself, the scavenge lines, will be Speedflow um, 550 series, which is a perforated Teflon. And they advised against using 100 series on that purely because apparently on the scavenge lines it can actually suck the line shut. We'll also have a look at plumbing the pressure side of the oil systems. I don't know how well the camera's going to show this but that's like your red regular 100 series uh, speed flow braided line. And then this is the 550 series which you can see if you, or oh, don't know if the camera can make it out but basically that inner bit is not only Teflon like the 200 but it's kind of like it's perforated, it's almost ribbed. You give it a bit more structure, stop it from closing in on itself. We're just trying to get most of the things, uh, you know, actually back on the car so it's ready to tow. Yeah. 